What is going on everybody? Welcome back to RC Car Garage and in today's video we got a brand new car from Easy RC. Alright you guys, so we got a 118 scale monster truck from Easy RC. This is all brand new and as you guys can see right here, it is fully licensed. So let's crack this box open and let's see what this thing looks like. All right, you guys, and here it is. This thing looks awesome. This thing looks awesome. I have got to say, I am really, really liking this thing. All right, so before we get to the car, let's see what else comes with it. All right, so this other box here, you get, nice. So you get some extra body clips that you guys will see right in there, some extra body clips, a T-wrench, you have your charger, and they send you a Phillips screwdriver. Now you also have something else. There we go. So it also comes with a wheelie bar that you guys can add to the back of this thing. And you also get your controller. And here we are. So if you guys haven't noticed, the transmitter looks just like FMS, FMS, Easy RC, the both same company. And this is the remote that they're using with it. This is the G4P remote that comes with it. And you get everything. You get your steering and throttle reverse buttons, your steering trim, your throttle trim, and your steering dual rate. The switch down here on the bottom is your on and off button. Uh, you also have LED lights that turn on here. I'm guessing when you turn on the vehicle, you have a third channel button here, and you also have a fourth channel on the stick right here. I got nightmares in my head, I fear that the thoughts build up until I can't hear. That my mind fills up into a creature And it haunts me somewhere much deeper Anxiety, filling up every space, no privacy uh, And silently, it could build and build until you finally see Whoa, it's taking over, damn no closure, moving closer No exposure, I just wanna be a loner uh, Some can't stay sober, looking over all their shoulders Like moving boulders just to get out of the home, it sucks all right, you guys, and here it is, the Chevy Colorado fully licensed body, and I gotta tell you, this thing looks absolutely awesome. So, this body is a full Lexan body, but this front grille here, it is a molded plastic, and that just looks awesome on the front there. They did a really good job with that. The front bumper is also molded plastic, and there is a light bar that is integrated into the bumper which is a nice little feature that they did with this thing now we go around to the side here you see how the Lexan body is nicely tucked in to the side right over here just to protect it so that way I don't know how fast this thing goes apparently it's supposed to go like 27 28 miles an hour that's about 45 kilometers or something like that and um, so we will be seeing how fast this thing is going to go. Um, but again, so the body is in a little plastic channel right there to uh, protect it, which is nice. Now we go over to the back here and of course the wheelie bar, I ended up installing this thing because I want to show you guys what it looked like 
with the wheelie bar on. I, you can drive it with the wheelie bar off, it does come separate, but you get the option of putting it on if you want. They also added a nice little roll cage right up here, so hopefully it, I don't think it will protect the body much, uh, just for the main fact that the roll bar does sit a little bit lower than the Lexan body here, but if it ends up turning over, it'll at least hopefully roll something like that and not scuff up the body too much. Um, and again, the rear bumper is also hard plastic that's on there. The wheelie bar does seem pretty good, actually. Does seem pretty good. Uh, open diffs all the way around. Again, on the passenger side, you'd see the exact same thing with the body going into that channel for protection there. And that is what the outside looks like. So now let's go on inside, take this body off and check out the electronics and everything that are in here. All right, you guys. So as you guys can see, there is a fan here that is on top of a 370 motor. Do not know what the KV is on that, but when I find out, I will put that up on the screen. It is a brushless motor. You have your brushless ESC here. It kind of looks like a uh, hobby wing-ish type of ESC, I'm guessing. Uh, but we will see. Right here, this thing is the light controller that all connects to the receiver. That all connects to the receiver right in here. Now I turn around to the other side and this box right here as you guys can see that is the battery that comes included with this car. So to take off the battery you have that little dial right here. You just spin that to the side that way. This little thing comes open and your battery comes out. And there you go. You have your Dean's plug there and you have your balance port right there. Uh, I know from my balance port that's not going to work on here. But again, they do give you a charger that you charge off of the balance port. Now, put that battery away and that battery is actually a 7.4 volt 1050 milliamp hour 7.77 25 discharge light lipo battery now if you guys want to use one of your own batteries it might not fit in there it might it might not might have to get a different I can't even get mine to uh, close there so I'm guessing uh, you're kind of limited I guess you're kind of limited uh, wait a minute there you go so I'm guessing you could probably put something underneath the battery just to be able to for it to secure there and for this tray here so you might be able to use a, something put underneath it to elevate the battery a little bit so it can stay in there and not be jumping around but as you guys can see you guys can use a, another type of battery now you do got to be careful because your steering component is right there coming along the front your servo is right underneath the ESC you can see the steering arm right there so you guys got to be careful when putting in your own battery and keeping your balance charger and your leads out of the way so it doesn't interfere with the steering right there. Now you do have adjustable adjustable turnbuckles in the front here for the steering and that is the only adjustments that you do have. You don't have any adjustments for the left or right. For the caster or camber you don't have any adjustments like that. You do have dog bones here on the front or CVDs actually so you do have CVDs here in the front metal CVDs front and rear they look like they are nice and thick so they will we'll see how long they are going to last flipping this guy upside down you do see that the belly under here is nice not smooth it has the bevels here on the sides just seems really nice the front bumpers are all integrated into the 
part that comes back here to the chassis. Same thing with the back. So right in the middle here, you guys see the drive shaft that's right there. That's going to come back from the back of the motor to the front wheels and also to the rear wheels. So let me put a battery in this thing, take it out for a rip, and we'll see how it's going to do. It is currently 841 and it's dark outside, but with the light bar on here, this thing should do pretty good. So let's go outside and check it out. you guys so I am out here with the Colorado and I have the GPS on here so now I am going to see I have found a nice strip all along down this way and we're going to see how fast this thing goes so I am kind of hoping that this thing does go the 45 kilometers an hour the 20 about 27 miles an hour so let's get this thing going all right, everybody, so the GPS is on, and we are going to track, start, and let's see what this thing does. read 42 kilometers an hour all right not so bad Again, 42 kilometers an hour. Why is it in kilometers? Unit, mile, read. So there you go, 26 miles an hour.
the things is you got to be careful and light with the brakes because uh, this thing loves flipping over once you, you're going you hit the brakes on this thing it just really looks forward so that's one thing you guys got to be careful with and this thing loves 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 doing wheelies you guys let's check that out again Alright you guys, and there we have it, the Chevy Colorado from Easy RC, and I got to tell you that this thing is absolutely awesome. This thing rips, man, and I gotta tell you, this thing is fast. <laughs> it's just pretty fast. For its size, this thing is a ripper, and it is a wheelie king. Let me tell you, the wheelies that this little thing loves to do is awesome. Every time you're at a stop, you punch it, and it just wheelies right away. Uh, for the 4200 kV brushless motor in this thing, 45 amp ESC in this, yeah, it's got the punch for it. It's definitely got the punch for it. Um, I did lose a body clip, but luckily they sent two more with it. So I was able to use one to put in here. Uh, the other thing that you guys might want to be careful with is when you go to put the body clips on, you guys can see it right about there. The body clip does end up hitting the body, which scratches it up a little bit, but hey, whatever. This thing is gonna wind up flipping anyway, so the whole body's gonna wind up getting, um, the whole body's gonna wind up getting scratched up. But I will be amazed. I am amazed with the body. The body on here did last pretty good. I flipped it a couple times. And the body did last very, very well. I am happy about that. Um, I got to tell you, nothing broke on this thing. This thing is still 100%. I mean, I went on it, let it flip a couple times and everything. And I know I bashed it into the curb a couple times in the front. But this thing still runs it rips it is a ripper and i like it 150 bucks guys you cannot go wrong with this thing go pick yourself up one i got a link down in the description down below click on the link down below and pick yourself up one of these bad boys i will see you guys in another video you all have fun keep our saying have a good one guys